coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming to my classroom. Today we are starting a new game of Times Square. Uh, so this is going to be Times Square Game 2. I'm going to call this Day Zero just because this is the introduction and the setup to the game. So this one is done in the same way. So just a quick little recap if you're not familiar with how the City of Zombies Times Square um, system works. I'm going to be rolling four dice every day. There's three six-sided dice and a 12-sided dice. So three cubes and a dodecahedron. And what we're going to do is I'm going to roll these and we're going to use those numbers to try to achieve the numbers of the zombies here. Now what you can do is you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers as you see. So six times five is 11, um, plus one is 12, and 12 times six would be 72. So with that, I could get this 72 here. I can also square the numbers. So I could take the six and make six times six is 36. Um, and then, you know, plus six is 42. Um, so that would give me that one. And, but then I wouldn't use these two. So, you know, but you can also do like five plus one is six and then six squared is 36. So this, you can do all kinds of different things with them. So you have to just be creative with how you're using the numbers and, you know, make sure that you're reading the comments of the other students and people who are participating in this challenges because they'll help you to see combinations and results that you maybe didn't see and you'll then gain a better understanding of what kinds of things you can do as well. So you can, there's lots of different ways to get these things. Now, one thing that's going to be special about this game is one, I've increased the difficulty by adding a fourth row at the top because my students last time had such an easy time with it. So I'm trying to increase the difficulty a little bit. Uh, also, one thing we're going to be doing which is different this time is we have these cards down here and these are actually heroes who have been transformed into zombies and we can turn them back by achieving their numbers so the sooner we achieve their numbers these four at the bottom the more they will be able to help us so once you've achieved a 21 for example we turn this one over and it becomes this now at the bottom there uh, it says eagle eye choose one die use it twice this turn so this character is going to give us a an ability he can use once during the game so on top of gaining the ability of the hero, you will also be getting a item with the hero. So you will be able to get an energy drink to um, help you with the things. Now the energy drink, like the hero, once they're used, they're gone for the rest of the game. And there's bonus points for not using the item. So if you you know if we can beat all the zombies without using any of the items, that would be best, but it's better to use the item and not have to incur getting more zombies up if that's what's going to come to. Now, there is these numbers at the bottom here, but we're going to disregard those. Those are to make the game a little bit easier, and I am not looking to make the game any easier right now. I think that uh, you're very capable students, and I have every faith in you that you'll be able to do this. So let me roll the dice up here for you, and you can tell me what you can do with these to achieve the numbers shown here. So we have two sixes, a five, and a two. Six, six, five, two. What can you do with those to achieve these zombie numbers here? And I look forward to hearing your answers tomorrow. Until next time, I'm Craig Thompson Wood, the board game teacher, saying thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school with me? I'm